Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the application of Norton's theorem in order to solve a problem. So let us have a problem. So, in this circuit, I am having a voltage source of 10 volt, one more voltage source of 5 volt and resistances are of 5, 2, 1 and 4 ohm. And these are the terminals given A and B across which we have to replace the entire circuit as a Norton's equivalent circuit. So, the heading is find equivalent Norton's circuit between terminals A and B. If you see properly, what I need to do to get I n, I need to short circuit these two points and get a current, but it is very difficult here because it may give rise to a three dimensional structure which is very difficult to analyze. So, what I will do? I will redraw the circuit keeping all the concepts as it is. So, my first step over here before applying Norton's theorem redrawing the circuit. See how I am going to redraw the same circuit but with a different orientation. I will keep this part of the circuit as it is. So, here it is 10 volt, 5 ohm, 2 ohm with terminal A. Now, what I am going to do? From this 2 ohm, I will consider this branch and I will draw like this. From this point, I have 1 ohm resistance connected to B terminal. So, it is like this 1 ohm connected to B terminal. From B, 4 ohm resistance branch will start. So, this is 4 ohm and this end of a resistance is connected to positive terminal of 5 volt battery. So, it is like this positive is connected to 4 ohm and this negative will go. So, same circuit I have redraw like this. Why I have done this? Because it is very easy to analyze now. So, the step number 1 is calculation of I n. What we need to do for that? We need to connect A and B points by a straight line, a short circuit link. So, here only I will replace it with a short circuit link like this. And I need to find out current flowing through this. So, for this purpose, I will use mesh analysis because mesh analysis is the simplest technique while solving Norton's theorem. In subsequent videos, we will solve more numericals where this concept will be clear. So, right now there are three loops. So, three currents I will get. This is I1, I2 and I3. As per the direction of currents, I will get a voltage drops. Now, all the elements are having a voltages associated with it. So, let us apply KVL to loop number 1. I will start from this point. So, from here to here there is no element here plus minus. So, it is minus 2 I 1 minus plus 
प्लस टू आई टू प्लस माइनस माइनस फाइव आई वन माइनस प्लस प्लस टेन इक्वल टू जीरो इफ आई सिंप्लीफाई दिस आई विल गेट माइनस सेवन आई वन प्लस टू आई टू इक्वल टू माइनस टेन इक्वेशन नंबर वन सिमिलरली आई कैन अप्लाई के वी एल टू लूप नंबर टू सो फॉर दिस आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट नो एलिमेंट इज कंटेड हियर प्लस माइनस सो इट्स माइनस आई टू माइनस प्लस इट्स प्लस आई थ्री नो एलिमेंट ओवर हियर प्लस माइनस सो इट्स माइनस टू आई टू वंस अगेन एंड माइनस प्लस प्लस टू आई वन सिंस देर इज नो बैटरी इन दिस लूप कॉन्स्टेंट इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ आई सिंप्लीफाई आई विल गेट टू आई वन माइनस थ्री आई टू प्लस आई थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो इक्वेशन नंबर टू सिमिलरली आई कैन अप्लाई के वी एल टू लूप थ्री लूप थ्री आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट सो इन दिस डायरेक्शन माइनस प्लस इज अ वोल्टेज राइज प्लस फाइव वोल्ट प्लस माइनस माइनस फोर आई थ्री प्लस माइनस माइनस आई थ्री माइनस प्लस प्लस आई टू इक्वल टू जीरो इफ आई सिंप्लीफाई आई विल गेट आई टू माइनस फाइव आई थ्री इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री इफ आई सॉल्व ऑल दिस थ्री इक्वेशंस I will get I one as one point nine two three one ampere. I two as one point seven three zero eight ampere, and I three equal to one point three four six two ampere. Now how to decide I n? Go back to the circuit. If you see over here. I want this current from B to A or A to B, so I two is satisfying that, and it is in this direction. So I can say I n is nothing but I two, which is equal to one point seven three zero eight ampere, and I am considering the positive value. The positive value is from B to A. so here i will write from b to a step number 1 is over let's go to second step that is calculation of rn second step is a calculation of rn for this we need to do three things one is we need to open circuit rl second current sources need to be replaced by open circuit and voltage sources need to be replaced by short circuited in our case there is no load resistance given so it's already open so no need to mention it we are having voltage sources and 10 volt and 5 volt those voltage sources need to be replaced by short circuited so if you do this modification the circuit will be like this so we replace 10 volt by short similarly 5 volt is also short circuited so i will get circuit like this with terminals a and b across which we have to find out rn and resistances are 5 2 1 and 4 ohm 
this 2 and 5 are in parallel because those resistances are forming a loop 2 into 5 divided by 2 plus 5 that will give you answer 10 divided by 7 which is 1.4286 ohm. Similarly, this 1 and 4 are also in parallel. So, the answer is 1 into 4 divided by 1 plus 4. So, it is 4 divided by 5 0 0.8 ohm. So, if I redraw the circuit, I will get two resistances connected in series which finally comes between points A and B. So, it is a 1.4286 and this is 0 0.8 comes in series. So, I can directly say R n which is nothing but R a B series combination of 0 0.8 and 1.4286 which will give you R n as 2.2286 ohm. So, second step is also over. Now, third step is Norton's equivalent circuit. So, as per the theorem, it will have a current source parallel with a resistance. Current source is called as Norton's current, which is I n. In our case, it is 1.7308 ampere. Resistance is R n, which is Norton's resistance. The value we got is 2.2286 ohm. Now, current we got is from B to A. So, in order to get a current from B to A, here I should mark this point as B and this point as A. Since load resistance is not given, so no need to perform the step number 4. So, this will be our final answer where we have replaced entire circuit by a simple current source with a resistance across it. In subsequent videos, we will see more numericals based on Norton's theorem. Thank you.